In this video, I am going to discuss about vertex of a great circle. Let us assume that this is earth and earth can be considered as a spherical. So this is north pole and south pole and this line can be assumed as equator. Now suppose this is a grid circle. Well, uh, we can define grid circle as the circle which is having the center which is same as the center of the sphere. And as we saw, the grid circle is reaching to a maximum point and thereafter the latitude is decreasing. So the point where grid circle reaches the maximum latitude is called vertex. Each great circle will have two vertices, one vertex in the northern hemisphere and one vertex will be in the southern hemisphere and both these vertex will be 180 degree apart. If we examine carefully, if we are going from west to east, the course will be 0, 090 0 degree or if we are going from east to west, the course will be 270 degree. So we can say the course is exactly east or west at the vertex. I can explain this. Suppose these meridians are represented as a straight line. So here this is the course and the course angle is increasing and at some point this is 90 degree. Well this point will be called as vertex. Why should you know the position of vertex? Well, ice, fog, extreme cold and bad weather are associated with high latitude. So in case this is uh, the area you want to avoid and you know the vertex where you have you will reach to this latitude, well you can modify the passage and can avoid this area. The second reasoning of knowing this vertex is that you can easily calculate intermediate points and that can be done by the application of Napier's rule which is the rule for 90 degree triangle. Also the position of vertex is very important whether it is inside or whether it is outside in a spherical triangle which is formed by the pole and arrival departure positions. So here this is course angle A and this is course angle B. Well, course can be different. Course can be from this direction, but we are interested in course angle. So if course angle A and B are acute, vertex will lie inside. Acute means less than 90 degree. Now, if A is acute and B is obtuse, obtuse means more than 90 degrees. So let me mark here. Obtuse means the angle is more than 90 degree and acute means angle less than 90 degree. Well, the vertex in that scenario will lie outside and it will be close to obtuse angle.